dead excited. Off on holiday next week. Well, no, this week. Mm, sat there. Sat there. Yeah, brilliant. But we've got a bit of a problem. <sighs> we'll have a bit of snorkeling. We're going off to Mexico. It's supposed to be some great snorkeling places. But my old mask is looking a bit worse for wear. So uh, I was looking at buying a new one. This one has been brilliant, though. It's, oh, God, I've had it for over 15 years, maybe now. But the rubbers start to perish a bit, and the um, I've chomped off one of the bits on the mouthpiece. Love it. But do a new one. What do you reckon, Mace? Well, I did some research and bought your Father's Day present. Oh, what's the chances of that? Oh, it's <laughs> as if it was so. <laughs> oh. oh. As you can see, this looks like it's come from Amazon. It has. Now, when we were away last year... No, two years. It was Dominican. Gone. Two years ago, we went to Dominican Republic, yeah. and we saw these Germans, and they were wearing these amazing-looking masks that were around the face. It was like clear frontage, and they were brilliant. They really, really did look good. And we had a word with them, um, and uh, their English was really good. I could understand what they were saying. Uh, but it was brilliant, and they were saying how good they were. There was nothing around here for sale, but thanks to Amazon, I'm wondering, could this be? Oh, wowzers. Oh, oh my God, that's a, that's a tough bag. I can't get in it. There we go. Oh, and we porridge today. Wowzers, what have we got here? What have we got here? This is... This is a Unigear. A Unigear? Full face mask. Oh, my word. Thanks, Mace. Now, this, this, was, this was a flash sale on Amazon. Normally 35, and this one it became down to 20, 25. So, what have we got? We've got a snorkel neck that lifts and... Let me pop that on. So before I brought them, because there are so many on Amazon, you, there is like so many, too many. You can read all the reviews and you know not always you can trust the reviews, but did a bit of research like I like to before I buy something and I got this one as it was in the sale, the flash sale, and because um, the reviews on it were really good. Um, things that you have to look for when you're buying these after a bit of research, uh, there's a couple of different styles you can get. You can get ones where these pop off uh, or it twists like this a lot of the new ones this year seem to have this on i have the main thing which i what, the I've noticed the hinge yeah one of the main things that is said about them um which i'll just crack this back open to show you uh, how's that one? Not that. um is making sure that it has these the free ways uh so basically what the saying is when you're breathing you have to have these valves inside the mask you can see them in there we're getting closer uh, in there, that valve there, because what it's saying is when you're breathing CO2, all these different things, if you're breathing in and then not letting that air escape and filter it, then you start to lose consciousness. Oh, because you're just breathing the you're same breathing air dirty all the time. air back in, yeah. so you have to, that's where the free valve's in. So one of these is the air coming in, and then the air filters around the sides and comes out. Most of the ones on Amazon have that, they, they wouldn't be on Amazon, I wouldn't think, if they didn't have that, um, but some of them work better than others. Uh, and this one, this one said to work well. It's also got this on the front, which supposedly, uh, if you get any water in, can filter the water out. Although it does have, like most do, the mechanism on top where if the water gets in, uh, the ball on top should close the valve. Uh, some people have said that don't work, but others say it does. I think it works as well as as it can. First impressions of this, it feels really nice. It feels very good quality. The uh, it's quite weighty. The rubber seal, if you like, around the outside of the face, it's like a silicon uh, rubber, and again, it feels really supple and nice. So let's let's go with this and see what happens. They come in two sizes. Most come in two Ooh. sizes. You can get a small or a large, and the cut-off point is you measure from in between your eyebrows down to your chin, uh, and the cut-off point is at 12 centimetres. So if you've got a head bigger than 12 centimetres, like we have, it goes large. Anything below is a small. And they do kids as well. It feels, it feels really good. <laughs> can you breathe? I can feel it coming out. They also have anti-steam, anti-fog, which because of the filtering and the way it works. Uh, and this, this one has a flat face as well. You can get rounded ones, but 
whether that makes a, a huge difference. I want these supposedly say that that works better, but it is really comfortable to be fair. It's it's very comfy. It looks like it's sat on you on your head, yeah. right? Looks good. Yeah, nice sticker over your face. It feels it feels really comfortable. Really, really nice. Uh, snug fit. Obviously so comes um, with a bag as well. The only thing is, is that, you know, we're both on a snorkel, don't we? So I couldn't buy you a Father's Day present without getting myself one as well. <laughs> so in here. I didn't I was originally gonna buy two of the same. Uh, but then I thought, why would I do that? We wanna try two different ones, don't we? So, so we've got a comparison doing. then, have we? Okay. Yes. So this one, uh, as I said earlier, that one was in the sale, in a flash sale. Uh, this one I've got here wasn't in a flash sale, it was 20 quid. Um, it's the cheapest one I could find that had reviews. The others didn't have reviews, and I like a review. It had about 10 reviews, nine of them were good, one was bad. The one that was bad just basically said that they thought they had a faulty mask because he couldn't breathe. Uh, either that or he's just a bit of a melt. So, one. so just slice that. There we go. So, already this one comes in a nice box, that one didn't come in a box. No. And we open it up. Oh, we've got a nice bag as well. Same as the other one. So this one is, this is the, this is the Auto, Auto X XL Auto, CU 180. Yeah. And what was this? This one was the That's Unigear. A uni gear. It's the, just called it. It's, it's just, just a Unigear. Uni yeah. Now the major difference between the two of them straight off, which I know already before I buy them, uh, other than the price, is the fact that this one doesn't have the hinge. This one comes with the actual breathing pipe detached, which a lot of them do. Um, as I said, the, the more recent ones, the upgrades for this year seem to have the hinge, but as you can see, that comes detached and it should just push straight on. But to be fair, um, the, the something that's as simple as pushing on is probably in the long run going to be more reliable because it's, it's less likely to break, yeah. but then again, the seals may perish sooner. I don't know. It's probably going to be... You know, I don't think it really makes a great nah, deal. Nah. I mean, it's just that really like when it's in your suitcase in the bag, if it's in the bag anyway. Yeah, it's slide that on and see how that fits onto the... So it slides on that way. Oh, well, that goes on quite nice and easy. Nice so it's not... Firm, um, it yeah, it, yeah, it's there. It's there. Look, it pushes yeah. it nicely. So again, when we just compare comparing these straight off, they've both got the, the valve system, like we said. Both got the... In case you get any water in. They both claim to be anti-fog. Which um, we'll I find mean, that when we use them. The, they these, the straps are the same. The, the, they yeah. are exactly the same. They feel the same. They look the same. So, so that part of it is exactly the same. I mean, the mechanism in the breathing pipe is exactly the same again. That one obviously a different shape, but it's got the the, the closing the ball that closes in case you get little, any water in. A little ball. Is that got a ball that's? It's going a ball. Up there? It's like a. It's yeah. It's a, well. That? It's like a. It's like a, a seal. So that one's a ball. This one looks. Yeah, it's slightly slide a slightly pipe. different shaped looking thing but it's again well, very similar one of the major differences straight off is probably obviously the fact that this is a full clear it, whereas that one's obviously got the white bit around the mouth oh yeah yeah when yeah. we look in there this one again that's the only reason that's different is just because that's clear they've both got the valve system um as you can see in this one actually when we look at that you can see the way that that's that's around you can almost see a pipe coming up from the top, the, the lighter blue bit inside that comes down here, yes, so that can, the air yeah. can come up there, and I can feel that if I go in there now. So you've got the valve, and then you can feel the pipe in there. So you can see that that has it, and again, it has the three, and the it three other. bits in there. And the other, let's try this on my face like I did the other one, and I'll just tell you a quick comparison of what they feel like. Again, large, large size again because we've got big heads. Obviously, you can tighten them up. This one as well, as you, this one comes with whether you want these or not comes with these attached to it, which I didn't realise until until now, um, to plug into your ears and so you don't get any water in your ears. Or you can just attach them back there on the side and forget about them, which I probably will. It feels it feels almost the same. I can't say there's, a, there's any difference in... in you know, it, feels, it doesn't feel any di other than this one is slightly tighter because the straps are a little bit tighter, yeah, I think. Yeah, you, you tighten but, them yourselves. But the, so um, got the, you the actual mask them. itself feels the same. You try that, let's have a look there. And it, again, it's got the flat face as well, whereas some of them are curved, but whether that makes anything different. I think the other thing is this has got a sticker on the front. Let me take this sticker off so that it... Um, please remove this protective film before use. Please 
Confirmed snorkel tube is installed well. Please, all oh, right, okay. So we can take this off without any problem then. Let's whip this off and hopefully it'll clear. It'll clear the screen up a bit. I think that's just because it's. It should be said as well. Oh, actually, this can probably go back on again as a protective. So you're not when you're not using it, maybe it protects it. This one's know. got a protector on it. Has it? Is yeah, that gone as well? All oh, right. There. So can could you put that back? Yeah, you could just lay that on there if you wanted to stop not it getting either. scratched. But then I'm not one for. I'm not one for leaving crap on it. No, I just want to get it out, stick it on, and get on with it. So it's got a protective bag, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. Is that? It should be said as well. One of the main complaints that's been said by when I read the reviews and things like that is people saying how hard it is to breathe in them, um, saying that it's if you like struggle breathing as it is. Like, I've got asthma. You've got asthma. Um, if when you do breathe in them, it is quite difficult to breathe. But obviously, we've not had them in water yet. But straight away putting them on, they feel alright breathing in them, don't they? Obviously, you know you're wearing a mask, but you can breathe in them quite easily. Um, I did read one review where someone said uh, they've got a bit of water in there, and if you weren't a seasoned snorkeler like they were, uh, you might panic, which I think is rubbish. Um, you, you, you can learn. You can learn to use these rather than the other masks. Um, Another thing was people saying if you're claustrophobic, having them on is quite difficult. Yeah, but you're going to... A lot of the reviews, a lot of the one-star reviews were people saying that there was, it was because they were claustrophobic. Sense, isn't it? But when you, when you go back to, I like mean, that. snorkeling, the good old snorkel we've got here, um, I suppose the things that I'm going to be looking for, I love diving. So I love going down, rummaging in the rocks, down the bottom, deep. You know, usually well, I say deep, about 12 foot is probably about as deep as I'm going. I don't think I'm going a great deal deeper than that. But it's, I do like that. And then I'll come up and blow out because uh, this hasn't got any valves and it. it's just real old school. But I don't mind that. And, and obviously sometimes you get a bit of water in the pipe, but you've got to blow it out. Um, whereas this, this new tech has got the valves and things. So it's all new to me, that is. I, I have used an old snorkel before with a valve in it. It was okay. It, it, it got on with it okay. So I'm hoping it's going to be of a similar thing. It should be. It should be good. It's comfy though. I, I must say, first impressions are, it feels really good. It feels nice and comfy. Proof of the puddings when we get it on the, uh, you know, down on the coast in the sea, and uh, we'll try it out and see how we get on. So uh, I think. Oh, I'm gone. Oh. No, oh, oh, that was another thing to mention, yes. There's something else. We have got another bracket here as well. So on this one, we've got a, a clipping bracket that, um, bang, snaps in, GoPro, uh, underwater camera, action, uh, camera. action camera, straight and this on one, there. This one's got it straight on. You, you would find that most of them that I saw on, on Amazon uh, have got them on there. So we've got replacement valves we've got the clamp for the camera um a yeah. couple of other goodies in there they, i think they're there there oh, oh is this comes with earplugs so as a separate with, right, so this yeah. one's got the earplugs attached to that one comes with them but yeah so um what do you want earplugs for i've never had earplugs when i've been snorkeling you get water in your ears but they're, they're, they're just they're helping everybody um so obviously we've not got a gopro we did have a gopro didn't we you had one we brought you yeah on i did do a review on the gopro um a long while ago that was a say so it was a good good probably over a year ago now but that one back um it? i did have issues with it with the button and stuff so yeah. these are impressive like that just worn it for a couple of seconds and you can see the the mask part here is uh got the vapor in it from my breath but the screen is absolutely clear so we've got a good seal around the nose and mouth um yeah okay. what with that clamped on that brilliant so with this one to just detach it just give it a good a good tug and it just slips straight off and then you package back up again let's go on holiday and try it all out yeah made it to mexico we're going to try this in the pool to start with so we get it on and it fits like a glove it's really nice Is it on? Are you locked in? and let's just drop it into the pool here we go First impressions, there's absolutely no leaks at all. The neck on it feels good. There's plenty of air coming into the mask. As soon as you get it below the surface, it blocks it off. Really good, comfortable. Let's go to the sea. So it's quite calm today in the bay. It wasn't too bad and both the masks coat really well. Oh, man. 
and as you can hear, you can speak with these masks on, which is quite quite bizarre when oh. you're in the water and you you're talking and you can actually hear each other. Now the cheaper mask, the Auto XL, the one with the yellow top on it, it struggled when you got the neck underwater. It tended to, the vent stayed closed um, and it was a real struggle to get it to open up again. Whereas the uh, the blue one, the Unigear one, that one just, that, that one worked really well. Even when I dived down, came back to the surface, it released the valve straight away. They were both brilliant for, there was no leaks um, and they didn't fog up so everything was great other than that now we found this cove and the sea was really really clear although there wasn't many fish but we um we managed to get in here and it was it was really good it was really calm and uh, it worked really well again no fogging or anything on the masks out of the two Unigear definitely for me wins the comfortable round the outside here. This one, it just gets you in the cheeks a little bit when you when you're snorkeling. It's just slightly harder. The main features though, with the folding neck, it doesn't look a great deal when you get it out of the box, but that slightly bit more length on it, that extra inch on that net there makes a massive difference when you're in the water when you're swimming and you're snorkeling down you've got your head downwards these are only just out of the water and if you get a wave the shorter one the water just gets in there and blocks this off and then you go <laughs> you can't breathe it just blocks it off you've had loads just of trouble haven't you we've, so we've snorkeled so far since being here we've snorkeled in life an open bay where the, the river met the sea and that was that was brilliant and this was brilliant there because there weren't no waves so you had no waves coming so it was dead tranquil you just swimming along absolutely brilliant as soon as i get in the sea with this one i start getting water in and as i'm breathing i'm sucking the mask into my face i can't i can't i can't take a breath so it just sucks in and it's all right when you can swim because you can just sort of start take it off your head get your breath back but if you're not a competent swimmer or snorkel then you're knackered um but yeah, so a couple of times I have, I've, I've been out there and it's got caught in my face like that and I've had to sort of go up and gasp for air. So yeah, not, not the best thing you want when you're out snorkeling. All right when the waters are nice and, and calm, you'd be brilliant with it and it's fantastic. But as soon as you get alarming knocked to down and you've got thunderstorms there, we've been out in the sea and the waves are big. Um, that one coped absolutely fine. This one, a bit of water in there and you know, your head pops up so you can't snorkel properly with it. When I'm out there and as you pet like sort of um, paddling along, if you, if you need to go against the current or against the wave, you're knackered because you start taking heavy breaths and you start to almost lose air in there. You've got to really keep a regular breathing tone, which I think is very much like scuba diving, you said, yeah, when these, When you're wearing these, you do feel like there's a resistance in your breathing. You're taking a breath and you can feel it sort of sort of drawing in and then you, you're breathing out and there's always a slight resistance and it's very it's a very similar feeling to when you scuba diver with the breathing through the apparatus it's that kind of feel not as hard as that because you do have to really suck on those but there is definitely a resistance where you don't get that with you just a straightforward tube no. um but i mean with you as well one, one good thing you know, especially is that you can breathe from your nose yeah, that that's, is that's great different. That's it's really quite, good. at, at yeah. first it's hard to get used to because you know, oh yeah, yeah. i can breathe from your nose but it makes a hell of a difference it does and it's nice being able to just not be yeah. worried about your nose or anything and, and, uh, and another thing with it as well is your view i mean i know like i said before in that last video you've got the the, the curved front ones which i imagine i don't know what the difference is but you get a great view from these you can see everything in front of you see everything around you so i'll spend the extra 10 quid and go with this uni gear one over the two it's, yeah it's well worth but the extra at money. the same time this one on Amazon is the cheapest one I could find. It's got about seven reviews. Yeah. I would give this a decent review. I mean, okay, compared to that one, maybe not as good, but if you really, really are on a budget and you can't stretch to the, I think that's 35 now, then 20 quid, you can't go wrong with this, because unless you're snorkeling in really like hard waters, you're absolutely fine. So, I mean, budget, that one, if you can stretch, go for, go for a uni gear. If that's been of any use to you, Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.